Hey guys, I'm going to answer the question, how to sleep super fast. There's nothing worse than not being able to sleep at night and being tired the whole day. I had a problem with this. So this is what I found as the reason why people can't get to, to bed fast. Number one, they have too much light in their room at night between when it's supposed to get dark out and by the time they go to bed at night, you're in an environment that's too light. Well, guess what? Guess what triggers the hormones that help you go to sleep? It's darkness. So you might want to wind down a little bit sooner and not have so many bright lights in the room, but darkness stimulates a hormone called melatonin, which then turns into serotonin. Those are hormones that help you sleep. Now, if you take melatonin, that's a bad thing because you're, you're bypassing your system and you're going to uh, be dependent on it over time, or it's going to interact with your own glands, like the pineal glands. I don't recommend taking uh, melatonin, okay? But that's one thing. Number two, TV. You watch too much TV, and the news is not good before you go to bed. You don't want to watch scary movies, maybe a comedy. Best thing to do is read. Why? Because that inflow sometimes can trigger your body and keep you up at night too, okay? Number three, can't get to bed because your mind's racing or you have nervous tension and it's going, going, going. So what do you do if that's the case? I recommend uh, kind of correcting the adrenal because it's a flight or fight situation. Flight or fight means adrenal stress. There's buildup of adrenal stress. There's two uh, simple remedies that I use. One, the uh, adrenal night formula, which targets an overactive adrenal. Okay, you take one before bed. And number two, I take adrenal day. Why? Because the adrenal day actually helps you sleep at night because it targets the stress that builds up in the body. It helps the excessive thinking all night long, and it's a great combination. So it'll help you uh, have a quietness in your mind as you go to sleep, and then this just calms the whole body because it really works on the adrenal flight or fight stress mode. So if that's the situation, go ahead and take take combination. I mean. It, it's not that expensive and it really solves a big problem and it's worth it to have a good night's sleep. So that's what I normally recommend. Now, number four, too much energy. Let's say you're an athlete in high school or college. Your cells have developed, your energy factories have developed bigger and bigger and bigger uh, mitochondria, they're called. And those mitochondria generate a lot of energy. So people that are athletes have larger mitochondria. So they, their capacity for energy is higher. So they generate more energy. And they, if they don't exercise, they lay there with all this energy in the body and they can't sleep. That's my case. So what you want to do is you're gonna to have to get out there and exercise every day to get the energy out. And probably not a little thing like a good 45 minutes of working out or maybe 40 minutes of working out hard to get rid of that energy. If I don't do that myself, I will lay there with a lot of excess energy in my body. So it's one of those catch-22 when, when you actually start it, you have to do it continually. You can't stop because the mitochondria don't shrink back, okay? So, and if it's a restless leg syndrome, that adrenal day formula will handle it like that. And that's just a, it's an adrenal issue that you have restless legs. Anything in the lower part of your body that's more um, restless or like a nervous energy or even you climb a flight of stairs and it's heavier is adrenal, okay? All right, digestion, that's another big one. If your digestion is not working, if you're bloated and you try to go to bed, you're not gonna sleep. There's a huge connection between your gut and your brain. It's actually connected by a nerve called the vagus nerve. And so anything that goes wrong with the stomach will actually affect your head and it will keep you up. So you just have to make sure you definitely do not overeat Especially don't overeat proteins. I mean, if you have too much protein through the day, it'll kind of wire you. It's very, very triggering. And like, especially if you have it protein before a bed. The best thing to do is to eat calming things like calcium rich, maybe a little um, cheese before a bed. That would be better than uh, other proteins because it has calcium in it. The other thing is like, you don't want to do um, um, any junk food because that's going to disrupt and bloat you as well. So. If there is a digestive part, there are two simple things that I do. Number one is apple cider vinegar plus tablet. I would take two to three of these before bed. Why? Because this is kind of like an incinerator. It just gets your stomach digesting. And then one gallbladder after you eat. Why? Because the gallbladder helps take the bloating out. And so it really handles the digestive component to prevention of sleep. So if your problem is digestion, 
handle that. If it's a problem adrenal, handle that. And you will see that you can sleep a lot better. So I just wanted to cover some key things to help you sleep because that's really the most important thing if you're trying to you know, have energy during the day or feel vital or have a higher mood elevation. Sleep is the key. All right, I'll see you in the next video.